The Terra program uniquely brings together a community of biologists, engineers, and computer scientists. This has never happened before in the agricultural sector. Failure is not an option. We basically have less than 30 years to double productivity in order to be able to supply uh, global needs around energy as well as food. The primary objective for all of these programs is to be able to identify the needle in the haystack. It's trying to identify that single plant out in the middle of the field that is performing better than any of its other partners in that particular population. So this project involves deploying a gantry-based field phenotyping platform with a number of different sensors for the purpose of phenotyping bioenergy sorghum. So the gantry uh, is a large crane-like device that's mounted on the rails. Suspended between the gantry rails is a sensor package. Um, it's a large box. It's actually about the size of a minivan and contains a suite of different sensors that move in three dimensions and will be used to image the sorghum crop while it's growing during the season using different uh, wavelengths, different imaging technologies, 3D imaging, and other kinds of sensing technologies to give us information about the plant characteristics, the plant growth, photosynthesis. This project is transformational because we're using a host of different technologies and approaches to tackle a very difficult question. When you get into having uh, robotics experts and, and engineers and computer scientists and breeders and, and agronomists working all together in the same project, that's a really unique situation. We can see that the potential answer is within reach in just a few years. There's one particularly important attribute that ties the Purdue team to the Danforth team, and that is that they have agreed to actually share a subset of their germplasm. By having access to this large quantity of genetic information coupled with phenotypic information, we will be able to create new biofuel crops that enhance the biofuel security of the United States. And the automated sorghum phenotyping and trait development system has two unique components. One of those components is a ground-based system, and the students and the faculty members working on the project are developing a sensor array that is mounted on this sprayer chassis that can be driven through the field to collect data on plants actively growing in experiments. The aerial platform is based on UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, and so we have both fixed-wing aircraft as well as rotorcraft with sensors mounted on them that we can then use to fly over our sorghum experiments and plant breeding nurseries to collect data on crop performance and adaptation. One of the great opportunities of the RPG Terra program is that there's actually able to provide funding for large multidisciplinary teams that represent the disciplines needed to successfully create next generation phenotyping platforms. This is a very unique project that represents scientists from plant science, from engineering, from aviation technology, as well as specialists in analytics and in crop modeling. I expect that in 10 years we will be able to phenotype thousands of plants and field environments on any given day and be able to couple that information with genetic data to create new and better varieties. In this case, because of the vision of the Terra program in RPE, we're deploying the appropriate technologies, uh, tackling genetics uh, problems that have uh, not been pursued before. We'll have a very, very powerful system for creating next generation biofuel crops. Someone within the agricultural community described this as Ag's version of Hubble, a unique platform, state of the art, far distancing anything else that has been put in place worldwide.